Oh boy, I'm ready to talk about this one. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back into another episode. We need to talk about the uh, the series where I talk about the movies that I really like and uh, review them. How's everyone doing? My name's Jack. Thank you all so much for watching. Before we even get into it, make sure you subscribe. These videos are doing really well. I really appreciate it. Join the family. I'm doing these every single week. Don't miss out. Subscribe to the channel. Today, we got an interesting one, one that I've been highly anticipating, very much looking forward to. We are talking about the newest film from Richard Linklater, Hitman. This, like I said, has been on my anticipated list for a while now. It premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. I did not get to see it because it was only in person. I did Sundance virtually. So it's been on my radar, though, because I saw all the reactions out of the in-person premiere that happened in Utah earlier this year. I love Richard Linklater. I love Glenn Powell. So this was one that I was highly looking forward to. So I will just say off the front, I do wish that this had been in a theater. And I know that there was like a limited release in theaters, but it's Netflix. So, you know, I kind of wish it was in theaters, but I still enjoyed the hell out of it, and we're going to get into it. I gave this a 91 out of 100. That is my grade. Uh, you guys let me know down below in the comments, what did you rate, Hitman? I want to hear your thoughts, but let's just kind of get into the brass tacks here. Here is the synopsis of Hitman. A mild-mannered professor moonlighting as a fake contract killer sparks a chain reaction of trouble when he falls for a client. Now, I'm just going to get the easy stuff out of the way first. Uh, Glenn Powell is a superstar. Uh... I, I don't think there are any ifs, ands, or buts about it anymore. I don't think there is any debate. I don't think I can find an argument that is to the contrary. Glenn Powell is a force in Hollywood today. He is a superstar. Any movie that he's in, instant, like, instant have to go watch. And I feel like we are kind of getting into a new in quotes, golden age of the Hollywood superstar. Now, I argued in a video essay I did probably two years ago now that Tom Cruise was like the last movie star. Um, but now I think we are kind of getting a new wave of these superstars, which is actually a very exciting development. And I think Glenn Powell is kind of leading that drive. You know, I, I've seen a bunch of interviews about him and he talks about how he loves old Hollywood and kind of how, how the, the, the age of the Hollywood superstar is something that he really, really likes. And he's leading that force head on. He's not doing these big blockbuster IP driven films. He's doing these Richard Linklater films and these original, you know, Twisters is a sequel, but you know what I mean? Top Gun Maverick, a sequel, yes, but they're not the traditional big franchise films, if that makes sense. And Box Office is following. I like Hitman, I would assume, is going to do incredibly well at Netflix. Like, like now, does Netflix put their numbers? Probably, but I think that this movie is gonna pop. Of course, we saw what Top Gun Maverick did. That also had the Tom Cruise effect, which I talked about in that video essay a few years ago when it came out. Um, and I think Twisters is going to do well. I mean, I'm personally really looking forward to it. And I think it's going to do well. And, and I think that he has that charisma and that power and that likability that will drive people to a box office no matter what movie he's in. And I, 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 like, like I said, I think that's a very exciting development. And we have a few others, like, like a Timothy Chalamet, um, and like an Austin Butler, and and, and people like that, like a Zendaya, um, and a Florence Pugh. Like there, there are the, there's this new young wave of of new Hollywood superstars that I think people will go to the theater no matter what the film is just to see the actor. And I really like that. I think that that's awesome. But back to what I was saying, I think he's he's fantastic in this movie like he shows like literal range in the movie itself like you know how we talk about oh this person has great range across their films he's showing great range in just this one film playing all of these different hitmen all of these different characters and he does it so well it's just it's amazing to watch on screen he's he's fantastic i think the rest of the cast is good as well uh adria adria arjona i believe uh, I looked up a few interviews and she says her name really fast, so I I, 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 I might, might have butchered it and I apologize. She's good. I don't think that it's my favorite performance in the world, um, but I do think that she did kind of 
like everyone's saying match the freak of Glenn, Glenn Powell in this movie. And she definitely did that. She did the job that I think she was out to do. But she definitely, I don't think she's my favorite performance. I definitely think it is Glenn Powell in this case. Direction. Richard Linklater. Before Trilogy. Boyhood. All these other movies. Like, I love Richard Linklater. He's one of my favorite directors. I would definitely say he's in my top ten. He is great here. I don't think he's reinventing the wheel in any way, shape, or form. This is a very... This is a very Linklater-esque based on true story film, which is actually it's actually crazy that this film is based on like a, a real person. Like that that's absolutely crazy to see. And and I really I really like the route that they took here of like the explainer type movie, if that makes sense, with the voiceovers and the dialogue and the different information stuffing parts of the movie. Like I liked those parts of the movie. Um I think that it helped move the movie forward uh, and never stalled. I, I think that this movie could have stalled at numerous points, uh, but they were able to keep it flowing very fluidly, and I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I think Linklater is very good at what he does. I, I think there's no doubt at this point about that. And I think he's he's wor- he's, he's cooking with gas here. I, I think you've got the, these you, these gr- this great star power got a very interesting concept and he's kind of just cooking with gas and doing what he does best um the writing though the writing is my favorite part of this film the writing is my favorite part of this film i am someone that loves following a character and watching these crazy decisions and and um and things happen that lead to a chain reaction, and you constantly wondering, how is this person going to get out of this situation? That is really great for the emotion aspect of my rating system. When you have a film like this that is highly intense, highly anxiety-driven, like highly nail-biting, it keeps you engaged. Even if the situations might be a little outlandish, you can kind of suspend belief for a second and realize that you are watching a movie. You're not watching a documentary. Um, so I really like, like this movie gets a little crazy, gets a little outlandish. It does. It doesn't seem real. It doesn't seem like a real story. Um, but like it keeps you engaged by constantly upping the ante and keeping you on your toes and i really like that i love those types of movies where they 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 are if it's going to be ridiculous they make sure it's like ridiculous and they keep you on your toes and i really really like that about this movie but i also liked the overarching exploration of i think identity and manipulation of one's identity um that's a lot of what this movie is examining and gonna get into a little bit of spoiler range here nothing too crazy but just a little bit of kind of the background of this story and kind of the character's development in this story at the beginning of the movie glenn powell's character gary johnson is um gary johnson yeah i'm pretty sure yeah gary johnson is having lunch with his ex-wife and they're talking about the concept of of personality and can you alter your personality in your brain if your brain is already wired a certain way and she talks about how if you embody the personality you want to have eventually over time that personality will take over in your brain and the personality that you used to know will be way 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 dumbed down if that makes sense and to prove and i'm saying in air quotes prove that theory in this movie we are watching it firsthand with gary's character development with with glenn powell's character development we are watching gary slowly but surely fully turn into ron and then when we get into the end of the movie and i will not spoil the end of the movie for you guys but then when we get in to the end of the movie, we finally watch that transformation fully come to light. And I just thought, 
And there's like little hints throughout the movie. Like when you're going into his class lectures, you're starting to see him dress and act a little more like Ron throughout. Like this character arc and character development for me was so interesting. And it was so well executed in my opinion. I really bought and liked watching this rather normal, mild-mannered professor, which they say in the in the um, in the synopsis, watch this mild-mannered professor kind of start to change and, and and change who he is to the core. I really liked that. I thought that that was executed just so well. Like I, it's some of the best character development I've seen this year, and I think. People may think I might overreact about that, but go watch the movie yourself and like like take what I just said and and and, and use that as the the template to watch this journey happen. And I I really liked it. I thought that the writing I think the writing here is by far the best part of this movie because not only do you have this really intelligently I think put together character development, but it's also funny as hell. Like this movie's really funny, and I had a great time. I was laughing, having a good time. And it's also it's got some good emotion as well. I don't I don't think it it the emotion still is good because of the tension, but I don't think there's like any like big emotional attachment to the characters, if that makes sense. You're obviously worried about them in the situations that they're in, but you don't like feel like sad or happy or you, there's no emotional attachment but it makes up for it in like the tension and the, the the wild craziness if that if that makes sense um so yeah i think the writing like if you're gonna watch this movie watch it for the writing because and of course glenn powell but like watch it for the writing because i think the writing here is actually really impressive and we know that link later i need to confirm whether or not he is him and glenn powell are the writers of this movie and we know that link later in particular is like he's he's I think one of the most talented writers in 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 Hollywood and you know that and then you bring in Glenn Powell uh this writing duo is actually really impressive and I think that they they them bouncing off each other is why this movie was so successful I think in my eyes uh, because you get Glenn Powell's firsthand experience with the character and the character development, and then you have Link later, who's just he's so good at what he does. So the writing, tying a bow on it, the writing, best part of this movie in my opinion. Technical's good. Uh, I like the editing. Um, I think the sound design is good. Um, costume design's great with all the different characters for for Glenn Powell's character. Um, I think technical gets the job done. It's really good. I really liked it. Score, fine. Cinematography, good. Uh, if I'm just like checking off boxes here. But at the end of the day, I think this is a very exciting film um, for a multitude of reasons. One, the film itself is just good. But I do think that it shows, it shows that we are kind of starting to turn a new leaf in Hollywood. Um, and have, and we're, like, I think this movie and Challengers which came out earlier this year in particular are two movies that are really signaling one, a new era in Hollywood, but also to a revitalization of the Hollywood superstar because people flocked to the theater to watch Zendaya in challengers. Now, of course they also wanted to see Josh O'Connor and Mike faced. Yes, but Zendaya is the headliner here and people flocked to see challengers for Zendaya. I personally did. Although I love Mike Face and Josh O'Connor as well, um, but but that's Zendaya is a Zendaya driver, and people flocked to the theater to see that. Hitman, I wish was in a theater because I, I think people would flock to the theater to see that as well. I think we will see that in the flesh with Twisters later this year, but this movie shows that one Glenn Powell can be a leading man because he's kind of been overshadowed, like he was overshadowed by Tom Cruise. Um, it shows he can be a leading man, which I already knew he could, but he proved it here. And two, it shows that I think people will flock to watch this movie on Netflix. I'm interested to see whenever the analytics and the data drops on how many people watch this. This will obviously be the number one movie on Netflix this weekend, obviously. Atlas was last week, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so this will definitely be the number one movie on Netflix, and I'm interested to see the data and see how many people actually watch this movie uh, because I think Glenn Powell can carry a movie 
I, I genuinely believe that. And I think we will see that again when Twisters comes out or later this summer. Um, so yeah, I think it's exciting. I think it's exciting. I think we have a very exciting young wave of actors coming up. And actors, I think people will go watch movies that are not these big IP movies. And I think there's a few reasons for that. I think, number one, people are tired of the franchise movies. Um, I think we've seen that, uh, especially with the MCU. Uh, people are getting kind of tired of these big IP blockbuster movies. Now, not completely. I think Deadpool and Wolverine is going to save the box office this summer because the box office has been... Granted, not great. Um, although Bad Boy, the new Bad Boys movie, is doing exceedingly well at the box office at the time of recording this. I actually saw it yesterday and actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, but th again, that is the fourth movie in a franchise, so we're talking about franchise movies here. Um, but I think in general, people are striving to see more original content. Barbie and Oppenheimer. I'm going to continue to go to the Barbenheimer experiment here and show that that's what people want to see. And I think that Glenn Powell and all of these other actors who want to do these very bold, singular films, I think people are going to flock to the theaters to see those if you have the star power. And I didn't think that a few years ago when I made that Tom Cruise video essay. I thought Tom Cruise is the last Hollywood movie star and we will never have an era like that again. Well, I will call, I will, I will eat crow when I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong here. I think we have a very exciting new crop of Hollywood superstars coming up. And I think Glenn Powell is one of them. All right. That's all I got to say. I don't have a lot of bad about this movie. I don't. I think that there are some average. I think the score's average. I think the cinematography gets the job done. I think this, you know, the score never sounds that, never stands out or anything like that. But I'm just very, I loved the writing here. I think the performances are really good. And I think the direction is very, very solid. Watch this movie. It's on Netflix. It's easy to find. Everyone's got a Netflix account. You don't have to flock to the theater. You don't got to pay all the money for a ticket and all the snacks. Watch it on Netflix. I think y'all will really enjoy it because I enjoyed it and had a great time with it. Like I said, rated a 91 out of 100. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop there. I, um, I'm i going to stop there. I really enjoyed this one. I'm very excited for the future of Hollywood. We'll see if it pans out or not. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I know. I know. I will, I will have a ticket opening night for Avengers Secret Wars. Like, I'm still looking forward to those things, but I'm also looking forward to some of this original stuff as well. So there we go. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, get down in the comments. Let me know, what would you rate hit, uh, Hitman? Did you like, did you hate? Let me know why. Again, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. These videos tend to do pretty well. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hello. Thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world. I'm doing videos like this every single week, so don't miss out hit that sub button. Uh, follow me on social media. That'll all be linked down below in the description. Do all those things. Do all the things you do on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it all. Go watch this movie. I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all are great today. We'll see you in the next video.